in a bygone era where JRPGs once ruled the landscape and many series of yore left their mark in gaming history, comes one of the most beloved classics synonymous with the genre that stood the test of time because people haven't stopped arguing about it for two decades. Chrono Cross. Uncover the early era of the JRPG as Chrono Trigger quickly became a genre classic simply because it was created by basically everyone making RPGs in that era and also because the Dragon Ball guy did the box art. Then discover the less but also somewhat beloved sequel that made the bold decision to throw out basically everything that people liked about Trigger in favor of a colorful pile of weird ideas, creating a debate that lasted about as long as gaming itself on whether or not it can be considered a proper sequel to the classic in a spiritual successor that probably would have been twice as popular if they hadn't slapped the word Chrono on the front. I mean, they could have just done the Japanese thing and slapped any old English word in front of it, like Heaven's Cross or Final Fantasy IX. Prance around the pre-rendered pastel landscapes of Chrono Cross, where the timey-wimey bullcrap is turned up to 11 almost immediately, as the main character Surge is sent to an alternate reality by taking too much acid at the beach, only to find out that his alternate self died as a child and no one knows who he is. The sort of magic-based existential crisis that most JRPGs would wait until Act 2 to hit you with. As he grabs his signature weapon, which is somewhere between a polearm, a Q-tip, and those things they fought with in American Gladiators, gathers a horde of mutuals to stop the plot of an evil computer and some sort of dimension-shifting furry in a narrative that might not quite live up to its predecessor, but still does the traditional Chrono series thing, beating the ever-living crap out of everything until you fix time. Explore the many pre-rendered wonderlands of Chrono Cross as you pick through fuzzy backdrops to find treats like you're playing I Spy, switching between mirror dimensions to open up pathways or advance the extremely JRPG plot, and more importantly, look for more guys with character portraits because 90% of the time you'll be able to recruit them. Filling your roster with friends, hardened warriors, dogs, animated voodoo dolls, pop stars, and a clown skeleton through quests that range from world-spanning searches and elaborate puzzles to quests that are just talk to this guy as you spend countless hours on optional side missions to swell your ranks and lose your already tenuous grasp on the ridiculous dimension-shifting storyline, then bend almost all of them like ugly Pokemon because collecting them is way more interesting than actually using them. Experience the many strange choices of Chrono Cross's combat where they junk the snappy active time battle of Trigger for a strange system where you do combos with different attack speeds that determine how much time you give the enemies to attack, but that also charge up your elements? Plus magic spells and abilities you socket into a grid to do the real face melting that in turn affect the elemental status of the battlefield. Look, none of that really matters. The combat is easy enough to just mash the attack buttons until a late game boss. Then you're screwed. So sharpen your battle toothpick and strap on those nostalgia goggles for a trip down memory lane for an extremely dedicated fan base that will still be the same JRPG you played 20 years ago for better or worse. Let's be real, everything with the music has aged about as well as Square investing in NFTs. Starring Blue Eyes White Guy That Bradshaw has a knife! Cat in the hat! Put some damn pants on! Died from too much Clossy Voodoo Vins cooler when he was a frog. What if Robo was anime? And like every antagonist in the game, I'm Chrono Triggered. Look, I know that they might be overdoing it with 40 plus characters, but it really doesn't get better than a mushroom man named Fun Guy. You can't find that with a reasonably sized cast. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. Memes Jack, the DNA of the soul. A pilot like you only appears once every generation, and I've shot every one of them down. I've blown more cartridges than you could possibly imagine. The more I understand humanity, the more I love my dog. Who the hell pukes in someone's bed? Objection, hearsay.